Here's a woman to watch who truly embodies what journalism can do to speak up for the most vulnerable. Nima El Bagher is a senior international correspondent at CNN, a native of Sudan. Her father spent the first three years of her life in jail for his reporting. El Bagher tackles some of the most important topics in some of the world's most dangerous places. She exposed modern-day slave auctions of migrants in Libya and went undercover to document the tactics of human traffickers. She was the first international journalist to reach Tibok in Nigeria to report on over 200 schoolgirls kidnapped by Boko Haram. El Bagher sets the bar high for all journalists and continues to shine the light of truth in some of the world's darkest places. Another woman to watch is Karen Atia. She is the Ghanaian Nigerian American Global Opinions Editor at the Washington Post. In October, Atia's worst fears as an editor were realized when one of her contributing writers, Jamal Khashoggi, went missing after walking into Saudi Arabia's consulate in Istanbul, where he was brutally murdered, according to reports. As the Washington Post reports, the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency later concluded Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman ordered the journalist's killings. Atia is relentless in her fight to get her friend and colleague justice, demanding answers from Saudi Arabia as well as the White House. Wow, you so know the fun. Washington Post also um, translated his works from English to Arabic, and not only that, they also uh, made it free to the public. Absolutely, and Karen Atia played a really big role in making sure that Jamal Khashoggi's voice continues even after his death. That's awesome. Who do you think deserves a shout out? Use the hashtag VOA Our Voices and tell us who you think is a woman to watch in the field of journalism. Also be sure to watch Our Voices on the VOA website where you can find the world's top news stories.